What would happen if you turned a mild-mannered folding Brompton bicycle into a monster? Just how scary is a small-wheeled folding off-road bike? We're going to find out. <laughs> Oh, sh this is a low point in my life. The Brompton is one of the most iconic bikes in the world. It is the ultimate embodiment of successful functional design. Over one million little folding bikes have been sold worldwide, and the design has remained true to the original for over 47 years. Plenty of new colours, a dabble or two in titanium, and an electric version too, but nothing too out of the ordinary. However, unbeknownst to us, there exists a murky world of modified Bromptons, and one of the leaders in that field is a company called Kinetics, who create everything you need in order to build this. Now, if you want to see this bike being built, well, you can see me doing that over on the GCN Tech channel, where I put the kit that Kinetics have kindly loaned to us into action on this machine. There you go. So what have you actually done, mate? It's got bigger wheels. Yep, so we've gone from 16-inch wheels to 20-inch wheels, and of course, these big, massive, knobbly tires. Yeah, okay, yeah. and you've added disc brakes. Clearly, yeah. Yeah, which means a new rear triangle and a new front fork. Yeah, we've also got an 11-speed internal geared hub on the back, which I've got to say is a thing of beauty. Yeah, however, you do seem to have taken off the mud guards and the lights. Yeah. Which is a shame because it is very wet, cold, and also very dark today. Yeah, but we're going shredding. It doesn't matter. Shall we go shredding? Are, are we going shredding? Let's find out. And um, question is, uh, I guess are you going to ride it first? Well, you built it, so I think you should have the honour of testing it out. Honestly, though, is I'm fine. I think it's your bike. You should ride it first. No, honestly, mate, I insist you ride it first. You you really deserve it. I've bought my own bike, though. This is all set up for me, ready to go. Yeah, well, I can ride that as well. No, I... Uh, rock, paper, scissors? Uh, three, three, two, two one. one. <laughs> you better get folding that thing up. See you in a minute. I guess the first question is, does it still feel like a Brompton even in its off-road setup? And yes, 100%, <laughs> it's still got that unmistakable Brompton feel. If any of you have ever ridden one of these bikes, you'll know how direct and agile and I mean, slightly twitchy they are, and with the little wheels instantly responsive. One thing that I've always had a slight anxiety over, even if it's never actually been realized, is, is potholes on a 16 inch wheel. And now we've got these 20 inches. I feel like I've got a little bit more robustness. I've got, there's a bit of confidence. I, I can hit you, a pothole. I don't think you need to be worried about potholes consuming your entire bike anymore. No, I will eat them for <laughs> breakfast now with these. Right. Okay. This, we better stop here. <laughs> this is a critical transition, <laughs> isn't it? So far, so tame. We've been on tarmac. Now, we're about to hit the rough stuff. It's getting real. Yeah, I feel a little bit like this bike might be like a Land Rover Defender. You know what I mean? Like, it spends its whole life confined to tarmac, when in actual fact, its soul lies beyond so pavement. we're effectively setting this bike free. Absolutely. What we need to know, though, is whether or not it's actually capable is the bike that Alex has created capable of riding off-road? I don't really feel that we can say I've created it. It's literally just a kit that you can buy online. Anyone could buy it. Yeah, but that doesn't sound as good, does it? It, it doesn't sound as good, but it's kind of just the truth. Yeah, all right. <laughs> anyway, now it's getting gnarly. I think it's only fitting that you ride that one. <laughs> what, is it because you're scared that it's not like, up to the job? I mean, I wouldn't say scared exactly, but um, anxious, probably. <laughs> anxious. There we go. Actually, I can't, I can't reach the pedals. <laughs> We're off. <laughs> Lovely. 
it feels like the ideal place and terrain for this kind of bike. Mellow we've taken, gravel. We've taken the Brompton, or the folding bike in general, and improved it. That's how great this is. Okay. <laughs> Well, we are waxing lyrical about this, and the reality is you're working considerably harder than me now. Yeah, I feel like speed is not really this bike's friend. Can, can, we, can I propose a test? <laughs> yeah. Can we do a, a top speed test? Yeah? Because then we'll actually find out. Like, I reckon you could probably do 40k an hour on a gravel bike down here. How yeah. fast could you go on an MTV Rompton? Less than 40k an hour, I'm gonna say. Then we'll know how slow that bike is. All right? All right. Alex is Wahoo. Yeah. You're gonna have to hold it because we haven't put a Wahoo mount on there. We didn't think this through very well, did we? No. But whatever. All right. Uh, unless. No, no, right, I think it's you go. fine, yeah. So, so count you in? Beeps. Beep, 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 beep. Yeah. Good luck, mate. He does look weirdly like Chris Froome riding that bike. Like, it's just all legs. Or like a spider, maybe. How fast did you go? I got 34. <laughs> <laughs> 34. That was, that was not safe. 34k an hour. Fair play, mate. You still got it in the legs. Yeah, yeah. You feel a little bit twitchy. A little bit twitchy would be the understatement. <laughs> did, you, did you run out of gears? Uh, no, I, I still had a gear left. So this uh, has got potential for actual maximal speeds on smoother, better terrain. There you go, why I expect some right. MTV Rompton, 34k an hour in the uh, sprint test. Do you know what we need to do, mate? What? Mountain biking. <laughs> to the trails! It does feel like the conversion kit has made it better for this type of stuff. I'm not sure about like city riding and can we really think that you could go mountain biking on this thing? Oh, that's a bit for you, mate. <laughs> oh, sh**. Do I look ridiculous? I think it's the fact that you're wearing Lycra whilst riding a Brompton. It's just two worlds colliding. Yeah, okay, left, left. Yeah. Do a big skid. Yeah. Whoa. Yeah! <laughs> ah, right, okay. Road, ticked Done. off. Gravel. Mellow gravel, ticked off. Top speed of 34k an hour. Nice. Still got it. <laughs> Mountain biking now. This is it, mate. This is what it's all about, the MTB Rompton. Yeah, it is. Before we um, head mountain biking, at which point we can actually switch bikes and you can ride it, I do want to just share my thoughts on what the bike's like to ride on the road. Go on. Because I do feel like we've made this bike more fun, but we I feel like it's detrimental to its on-road performance. Is that because you're struggling to keep up with me? Is that what you... Well, there is that. It's also probably <laughs> partly down to the fact it's got off-road tyres on it and we've made it for mountain biking. But those whatever. Are, yeah, those are pretty gnarly tyres, aren't they? Yeah. To be fair, mate, you did put in a pretty good attack there. Yeah, I feel like it was a one-hit wonder. <laughs> <laughs> Can I have my bike back now? Please? Yeah, all right. <laughs> just, just as we get to the tricky bit. Right, okay. This bike feels so light. Oh, bloody hell. <laughs> Stop laughing at me. <laughs> uh, this feels like a rocket ship now. Uh, I've run out of gears. I can't believe this is happening. This is actually hilarious. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> ah. 
I'm embarrassed that <laughs> you've gone further than me on a Brompton uh, off-road. This is a low point in my life. That's not a very easy gear for mountain biking, is it? No, but I mean, if you can get up this, you can go most places. This is going to be tricky getting started. Yeah. Oh, great. Go on, Alex. I'm trying. Oh. <laughs> I'm going to get it. What was that? <laughs> Third time lucky. Feet to uh, need more momentum. <laughs> I'll just walk. <laughs> oh, sh okay. Oh. Look at that thing go. Ah, oh, mate, it's unreal what it rolls over. <laughs> it's incredible. The difficult bit is the narrow handlebars. I reckon you might want to swap those out for something a bit wider. Yeah. Get a bit more like bit more torque on there. But those tires. <laughs> tires are good actually. I <laughs> yeah. Uh, I think you've got slightly better grip over the wet rocks than me. I think I do mate. I think I do. I mean this is gonna be the clincher though. So off to our left now. I found this on Strava. It's called the Enduro line. Because we're both on Enduro bikes aren't we? Well. I mean, <laughs> no but <laughs> we've got skills for days, haven't we? Basically. I'm quite apprehensive about riding down there on a gravel bike, let alone you on that thing. I'm quite excited, honestly. Should we go for it? This is it, isn't it, basically? This is the climax. How good is your MTB Rompton? Let's make or break. Can it do an enduro trail? You lead the way, I'll follow you down. I think we should say enduro in inverted commas, because I'm not entirely sure. Enduro? Yeah. <laughs> Anyway, right, I might put my saddle down. Not too far, it'll... <laughs> it's like a dropper post, isn't it? You're so reckless. <laughs> well, I tell you what, mate, we survived. All Just. three of us, <laughs> you, me, and the MTB Rompton. But I know we survived, but the speed that we had relative to how kind of wild and reckless it was, I feel like they really don't match together. The speed was low, the sort of risk factor was relatively high. Yes. <laughs> yeah, that took every ounce of skill that was like, deeply hidden within me. You've but, called uh, it something before, underbiking, I think you called it. It's the ultimate example of underbiking. It is not designed for going down muddy, rocky, steep things. Well, we kind of knew that. We kind of knew that. Well, your gravel bike wasn't designed for that. Yeah. So, you know, and you got down. Yeah. So what do you think in terms of, like, have we actually improved the bike for better or made it worse? Well, in terms of, have you improved the Brompton for what it's been designed for? No, absolutely not. Yeah, I'm in agreement with that. Because it doesn't fold up quite a small one, it doesn't have any mud guards on anymore. Mud guards, I think, is a key one for me. Oh, it's an absolute, yeah, deal breaker for a, for a city bike, isn't yeah. it? But, like, this kit has genuinely given a Brompton off-road capability. <laughs> I can't and believe we're saying You know what, like, because like, folding bikes, they are great, aren't they? Yeah. Like, the convenience of them, whether it's for travel, or whether it's for those of us that are short on space at home, so literally haven't got the space to store bikes. Yeah, or um, at least have multiple bikes. Exactly, and 
So whereas this, I don't think it's going to be used for travel very much. But if you don't have much space and you want to have a bike that you can ride on gentle gravel and stuff like that, I mean, it's, it's just it's brilliant. It's a niche. <laughs> it's definitely niche. There's one very crucial bit we haven't touched on yet. The price. What is the price? So, <laughs> uh, let me keep a straight face. The upgrade kit, £1,400-ish, on top of buying a Brompton. That is quite steep. It is kind of steep, so you are looking at like a three thousand pound bike. But it's a handmade, like you know that. It does keep the handmade feeling. Like that is that kit is made by one person designing and manufacturing stuff. Yeah, it'd be interesting to see whether Brompton ever do something similar, given it's, that you know the gravel hell is like everywhere. the gravel Brompton. Fantastic. The um, Brompton. <laughs> no. Okay, well, that's pretty much our thoughts on this. I am keen to hear what everyone else has to think about this bike. So, um, yeah, let us know in the comments section down below. Sai, have you had a good fun day? I've had a wicked fun day. <laughs> I'm so pleased that you have built it up. And thank you very much to Kinetic as well for sending us uh, one of their kits. Um, we've not broken it, but um, Blake from GMBN and Rich Payne uh, are currently sat in the cafe behind us and they are looking at it enviously. Blake was so excited when he saw it. We're going to have to lock it away from them. Yeah. Fry, and on that note, we're going to go. See yeah. you later. <laughs> Bye. If you want Blake to ride it, give this video a thumbs up. <laughs> Double thumbs.